what's up ladies welcome back to my channel in today's video i will be showing you this simple but elegant classy look for new year's eve if you would like to know how i got this look then please, blah, blah, then please keep watching <laughs> all right ladies so i did my eyebrows prepped my face and i put on 24 hour extended eye base by mac as my primer on my eyes. As a base, I'm gonna go in with MAC Arena and just place this all over my lid. Taking a BH Cosmetics brush, just gonna put that all over. So for my last New Year's look, I went for like a very glittery, sparkly eye, sparkle eye, sparkly. And this one, I'm gonna go for something more neutral with a little bit of shimmer. For my crease color, I'm gonna go in with Anastasia Beverly Hills Burnt Orange. That's this one right here. Now, in my crease, I'm going to go in with NARS Galata Galapagos. Galapagos. Okay. I wiped that away. Right. Which is this nice brown with a shimmer gold in it. It's reflective gold. And this is a small tapered brush from Sigma. I start off with a little bit in my crease. And then if I feel like I need more, then I work more in. You don't wanna go with a whole bunch and then try and blend it, blend it out or get frustrated and have to wipe off your eye and do it again. Or just say, fuck it, whatever. If I look the way I look and then I'll fix it later or I'll just deal with it. Start off with a little bit. The same brush that I used to put the burnt orange, just going to use and blend this in a little bit more. So now I'm going to take NYX Milk, well, it's the Jumbo Eye Pencil and Milk, and just place it right here. I'm just dabbing it very lightly. how tiny this is I had this forever and then just dab it out with my finger I do this so that the color that I put on my lids will pop a little bit more I'm gonna take Bellini from the shadow couture palette which is this one right here and place it on my lids I'm going to take the pink champagne from that palette as well and place it on my lid more in the center I swear everybody loves this pink champagne and for some strange reason it does not want to come on the brush all right that's better Just going to take a little bit more of that NARS color that I had on before. And place it right above here. I'm 
I'm going to take this black right here and deepen right here at the edge. Fluffy brush again. Just blend that out. Now it's time to finish the face. I know my routine. You know what I do with my face. I'm going to fast forward through it, but you can watch. Okay. okay. I'm not gonna put my lashes on because I'm gonna put my lashes on while my face bakes. Now I'm going to pop on some lashes. Unfortunately, I do not remember the name. Only because I tend to throw out the boxes. And then I have this nice little container. I'm going to show you. Like this. And I throw all my lashes in there. I don't have time to label the shit. Like, no. I just throw them motherfuckers in there so I can find them. Then, I just, if I like the way the lash looks, I pop them in my eye. Um, these, I'm sorry, I don't know which ones they are. They could, I think they might be the Sephora Velour, um, what is that for? I don't even know. Doll me up. There you go. But my number one favorite right now, which I don't know where I put them, are my um, Luxie Lash, the baby doll. Ugh. They're absolutely beautiful lashes. One lash on, the other one to go. The fuck I put on? Oh, I always lose this freaking glue. And it's not like it's small. You see this shit? It's big. It's not hard to miss. But... I put it down. I forget where I put it. It's time for a new glue. Alrighty then. I really wish I knew where I put my baby dolls. Those lashes are so beautiful. I'm not saying these aren't. But you know when you have a favorite, you just want them. Oh, they're in the bathroom. I know where they're at. My ba my lashes are either on my dresser, in the bathroom, on top of the microwave, or on top of my refrigerator. Those are the most odd places they should be. But if I'm in the kitchen, I'm getting ready to cook dinner. I take them shits right off. I'm going to use the microwave and I have them on. Pull them shits right off and put them there. And then I don't remember where I put them. I've had some scare the shit out of me that I thought was a fucking spider and I almost like pissed in my fucking pants. So just don't leave them anywhere. They might scare you. Now we're gonna dust this bakage off. Medium deep. This is mineralized skin finish. Just going to dust it lightly over and just blend in the light with the dark. 
let's contour a bit more with my shade and light palette from Kat Von D. Just gonna mix these two. My favorite blush at the moment is Gingerly by Mac. Now for highlight, I'm gonna go with Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is so Hollywood. Yeah. So my battery totally died. This is what happens when you don't film for a few days and you don't charge your battery. Anyway, um. I smoked out the bottom, I put mascara on my lashes. A trick I wanted to tell you, I don't know if you know, but my bottom lashes are very thin and like I'll put mascara, mascara, mascara and sometimes it just doesn't come out the way that they are now. Like you can see that I have lashes. So the trick that I do is I take my gel liner, my liquid gel liner, this is the NYC one. And then I'll just take it and go over my lashes like that. And then it's like it has mascara, right? And that's what blackens them a little bit more. And to me, it brings out the bottom of my lash. So that's why I do it. Just a trick for you girls who have bottom lashes like me. I'm gonna lime. I just got this lip liner. It is called Morning Coffee by MAC. It's a nice brown. So I'm going to line my lips with this. Then I'm going to go in with Honey Love. And Miss Lip Gloss on top. So this is my second look for you for New Year's Eve. I hope you enjoyed my video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.